easy run in this tournament. Yeah, GH Rest is reigning from Italy. And we have the captain, Kingpen, I'm Tornito, Joker, Mileno, and Bomador, who we actually had an interview with yesterday, but Itsu, the fan of favorites, going up against Queen Walkers. Yeah, it's, it's always Queen Walkers. Everyone <laughs> loves them. Everyone loves their creative approaches to the attacks. And we want to get directly into one of the, those because it's just amazing to watch them. But both hit rates of those two teams are incredible high. So let's see who's coming out on top. Starting off is going to be GH Rest with the Queen Charge Hybrid, something which we're oh. not seeing that often anymore. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I don't think we saw a single Queen Charge Hybrid so far here in the qualifiers, and Kingman is bringing the first one, and we used to see it so much back at Tunnel 13, but the meta with the Town of Poison has completely turned it upside Ooh. down, and this Queen, the wall break, is not opening this outside wall here, so this Queen is not looking to go, potentially maybe one of that Town Hall down. Oh, that was so close. If that tunnel would have been activated due to the splash Ooh. damage of the wall break, this oh, could no. have been bad news. There's the funnel. But this already is not looking too great for him. There are the first spring traps, and this already is great news. Like, as an attacker, if you see this right now, those spring traps on the outside, we talked about that yesterday. Those spring traps are supposed to spring trap against oh, no. headhunters. Oh, no. Wait, oh. but the, he, he already no, the burned that. the timing. Yeah. Oh, it's that single so target Inferno. Oh, that single, the, the archers are coming out. Super minions as well. No queen ability makes her invisible. But now Ooh. these super minions are going off to the left side here. Can he get the single down? He has one more freeze. Rages are up again and invest. All is freeze now. The queen is trying. What is she doing? She's going for, She's a, going wall. for a wall. Oh, no. The queen. Wow. Wait. And she's, she's running. What she's what? Uh, what? The single. <gasps> what? The queen makes up and the healers are going down. The healers, down they go. Can the queen take the town hall down with oh. a few of her final shots? Yes, the town hall is going to go down. Unbelievable. The queen goes for beating a wall to go for the single target. Inferno. I am I am completely shocked here. What? Wow. She, <laughs> she completely tricked us with like going for a wall just so we could curse the wall. So she's going back for the town. What was that? Either way, the push to four is still looking good. Like, we remember most of the spring traps are apparently against headhunters. This means we have not seen too many troops getting spring trapped so far. Like, we're not seeing anything flying right now. And this is because people are trying to protect headhunters with those spring traps instead of, yeah, hybrid because no one is using it. He said it. It's the yeah. first time of what we're seeing right now in the qualifier. And it's 40 seconds left covered. Can this still work? He's dropping a rocket loon, but the problem is we do have a clan castle still up in the core pot. Force that RC ability. Can he dig out the bomb tower before the tower? The bomb is gonna do. Oh no! The the hogs got damaged a little bit, but the clan castle is still up in the middle of this base for Kingpin. Wow, this is like there's just so much power left in this attack. Like he has the king, the, the pack, and everything, but time is running out, and this is something which we have seen quite a bit. And it's understandable in this attack. Like I would have never started the hybrid as early when seeing that my queen is struggling that much. So really good reaction by him. It was it was just yeah, not really working great for him overall with the wall breaks and everything. I guess he used the wall breaks just a little bit too late because the expo was tanked by that queen which means they exploded a bit too late and did not open the correct wall. But wow, yeah. that was still an impressive attack. Like, I would have never expected to see such an overkill, but at the same time, a time fail. So, yeah, a surprising start into this match, but this is a successful defense. Yeah, Gaku coming in with another defense. His bases have been holding strong helping queen walkers trying to advance from the upper bracket because remember if you advance from the upper bracket you're gonna have to lose twice in a row at the end because it is double elimination and gaku he's coming in with the pros players favorite attack strategy so far here in the qualifiers which is another queen charge dragon rider yeah and he's using that in all of his legend videos as well which he's uploading to youtube he's really good at queen charging this tunnel this is something which is kind of like his signature move with this strategy oh. but there are the rocket oh. loops is he going to wreck quick enough there's everything Visibility oh, no. spell no. no the queen he did the not prepare loops. for that clan what? castle this clan castle can trick you oh. up if you are not prepared and this is a huge mistake for oh. him 
Wow. And the king, the king is walking to the oh, outside. No. What? But the, it's the yuck. I, no way. That oh, is my crazy goodness. stuff he drops right the now. I, I'm speechless. The that queen went down so fast to those rocket loons. Maleno is pumping his fist on the defensive side, but now he took out the town hall. But at this point. He's looking to try to save this because the first attack from Rest ended up being a 90%. There pops an early one in ability. But can he bring it up towards a higher percentage two star? Because that queen died off so quick. Yeah, that is that is something which we don't want to see. Obviously, like with those queen charges, the queen getting taken down after the first, not even 10%. Now wow. the Royal Champ is trying to push everything back inside and it right now looks like it's kind of the same story as with an hybrid if, if everything is going wrong you just like push that in and hope for the best and it, most of the time you're dodging a lot of traps due to that but this attack is not getting like as it would get that far and we should i think talk once again about this clan cast because we saw it so yeah. many times in this qualifier and we talked about that yeah like we saw that yesterday as well that People were handling it really well sometimes as well when you know how to deal with it, which means freeze the rocket loons. I mean, people know when to face the clan cars, right? Like you, you can plan out the bases, you can see the ranges. So this yep. means you can know when exactly the clan cars to come out or, I mean, those teams are on voice together, right? Like they know exactly when things are coming out. And this means a teammate can just call, okay, the next step, and your queen is going to lure the clan castle, have the freeze and the poison ready. And always remember, with rocket loons, never poison them. They're just too fast. Poison the super minions, the, dam the damage dealers in this in this clan castle, and just freeze up the, the rocket loons, and then you're totally fine. He did freeze them too late. They were already on top of his queen, and the death damage of those rocket loons are, is way higher than normal loons, and this is just the game changer for this troop. Yeah, that made all the difference, which we just saw here in the attack. And it's what would you say? Would you say if you're going to use Rocket Loons on the defensive side, would you use the Super Minions or would you pair it up with Archers, Goblins or something else to p potentially provide some distraction? 100% Super Minions. We can see it right now. He has yeah. no, like he can't poison both of those groups. He has one group yeah. with, this, with the Rocket Loons and one group with the Super Minions being really far from each other. So one poison can't hit both of them. Mm. If you combine Rocket Loons with like Archers, for example, they're staying most of the time close to each other, which means one poison is hitting everything. So always mm. combine it with Super Minions. It's just way, way better. And as we just see, even pros are sometimes getting tricked by that clan card. So we saw it yesterday as well. And well, let's see how many more times we're going to see that. But next attack is going to be an Electro Dragon attack. And this strategy, we're not seeing that too often. Yeah, yeah Maleno's coming with the E-Dragons. We did see him coming with a triple yesterday with the mass E-Drags. And sending this blimp in towards the Town Hall. And what are we going to have? Sneaky Goblins? Yeah, Sneaky Goblins looking to help take that Town Hall down. Does lure out some super minions and archers. Come on, Town Hall, go down. And he secures that first star right there. Did actually also activate a tornado trap, which is a big bonus. Yeah, that's that's obviously a trap which you always want to take out. Now we have the classic line of E Dragons. Early warning ability in a couple of seconds. Yep, yep, that's exactly what you try to do. And then the double rage. This is just to get those loons inside the base as quickly as possible and get those black mines getting lured, which are typically deeper inside the base. But so far, he has only taken down red bombs really with those mm. rage up loons which is not really the optimal thing to happen with your Electric Dragons. Yeah, he rages up and freezes that Queen and the Sweeper, hopefully to try to get some chain value. Freeze up that Queen yet again. They finally lock on, but we've got some Air Skellies. That Sweeper is so annoying. Freezes it up again. He only has the Royal Champion still to deploy it and invisibility, but there's so many Air Skellies distracting the Z-Drags in the middle. Yeah, there's, so, there's just so many traps, and we saw that those loons did not trigger them. And this is kind of the key of defending against Electro Dragons. We can see a lot of players using this strategy mm. in Legend League. And it disappeared over time because people slowly saw like this troop is not as strong as a lot of people think because having core traps where the loons are not reaching that and can't trigger those, those Electro Dragons can really quickly die. We can see another Black Mine hitting that Warden. But is that, good? is that going to be enough? Maybe it's enough. I mean, maybe yeah. I, I got this too early. He took down yeah. the core. The Royal Champion can maybe finish off this base. 
He's got the RC. The Unicorn went over to the King. Drops the Rocket Loon onto the Archer Tower. The Royal Champion shrunk. Oh, a giant bomb. There's a Tesla as well. And down goes the RC. She dies off to a small bomb there. But he's got Ooh. the king with 53 seconds left. It's all and about the unicorn. Oh, <laughs> the archer, the archer's in the middle. It went for the royal champion platform. That wow. is crazy. The unicorn is following. The king is actually going for the <laughs> for the barracks. And with 40 seconds left, I think yeah. this is still looking good. And I'm really surprised by how this attack turned out. Like I was already calling it a defense, <laughs> but I, I was calling it way too early. Or is it? I mean, 30 seconds should Wait be definitely enough, right? <laughs> 25 seconds this king the minion is barely on the outside gonna help tremendously on this cannon oh the king's taking damage from the tesla oh. 16 seconds cannon maletto pushes his way through oh no what the minion he needs a few shots from this king here it's gonna be close this is gonna oh. be so close six the seconds king. five on, seconds four three two shots come on oh. one more and he yeah. gets it it's a three star <laughs> for Milano with the final strike. Getting it done with the mass E drags, and they are going to be taking the star advantage over Queen Walkers here. I'm oh, sorry, man. I did not say anything. This was all calculated from the start, I think. <laughs> wow. What a finish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the final shot the final swing of that king sword takes down that tesla to clutch up the three stars mass e drags coming in yet again for Milano and getting that three star yeah that was really important just to put up the pressure on queen walkers we were talking about that how important that pressure is that pressure game and well both teams did start with a defense but now it's all about getting this back to the three star streak which we had a little bit earlier already and we have the warden walk hacker smash yet again he's delaying Ooh. a couple of healers because he wants to make sure that a couple of healers are switching onto his Pekka, onto his golem which he is bringing as a tank in front of everything and then going to send in either the log launcher or the blimp right now he has the blimp selected for the town hall into the direction of the town hall and uh, then we have to see if the push is going to be big enough. Yeah, I mean, the Warden, is he going to try to grab this air defense that's standing there? Hopefully, because he doesn't want an air defense hitting his healers as he passes right on by. Yes, taking his time. Almost a minute has been taken off the clock. And finally, AD goes down. Pekka's are going to help bring the Warden back over with the King coming up top. Healers are down. And beautiful use of these balloons that hopefully test for some sinking air mines here. Yeah, that's exactly why you send in those goons. Making sure that your healers are staying safe. All of the healers are now following. So far, no, though, no black mines found yeah. just yet. Which is typically a good sign because this means the entry is not tested. So, um, yeah, something good normally. But the queen is not really following. Is she coming back? Yes, mm. she is coming back. There is the vulnerability as everything is engaging into the core. And Ooh. this lock launcher is going to open up everything. Yo. That log launcher is not only opening the walls, but also launching these archers coming out of the fending CC like bowling pins. Beautiful job. I'm going to open up the last wall. Yes. And he does. Okay. Does end up using a jump. The world champion is coming down with a queen ability. He has tons of spells. This is looking beautiful for Stadra here. Yeah, the only problem which might now happen is like the Town of Poison. So you always have to keep that in mind that the Town of Poison on the back end is scary. But so far, some troops on the bottom side are dodging that poison. Especially the Roy Champion is outside, which means if she's staying alive, this should be a no problem. Three star. This is exactly what is about to happen with the Queen having her ability left. The Baby Dragon, take a look at that Baby Dragon. Taking wow. down the Expo in style. This is how we want to finish an attack and three starring a base and has the queen ability to add should probably be popping this queen ability any moment now help clean up uses that freeze onto the test the queen ability goes off and now it's just a matter of clean up with 30 seconds left beautiful attack from stadra needing to get the three star to answer gh rest remember this is the upper bracket meaning if you lose this match you are still in it you're not eliminated the loser will be taking on carnage gaming who did win just before this match to try to make their way back to the grand finals but gg to stadra getting the pekka smash triple yeah but at the same time like having the second life in the final is yeah. such a huge thing and especially 
so far we had always the upper bracket winner winning the entire qualifier so this is another great thing to have in the, in the back of your mind so yep. next tag is in and we need to see some more three stars this is what we're hoping for for those two teams and let's see if they can somehow make that work yeah we'll have to see like you said you don't want to lose here because you will have that advantage you have to lose twice in the grand finals if you make it from the upper bracket but joker is coming in with the most popular attack strategy that we've been seeing yet again the queen charged dragon riders charging this queen into the scatter shot town hall is a little bit off towards the bottom side of the space could end up sending the blimp or could loop this queen back around to charge with a jump to help take that down Oh, this is one of the worst things like those split clan castle lures because he does not want to invest the poison right now even though there are a ton of archers but the problem is if he's investing the poison and there are some more archers and a headhunter coming out this would be really bad news for him so this clan castle split is one of the worst things to happen to a queen charger so let's see if he can come back from this start but so far he's doing Ooh. an amazing job of keeping that queen alive and he's even bringing the jump spell to get further inside the base of the next wall break is getting wow. even better value. Wow, that beautiful wall break there. There's the poison spell onto the super minions coming out, rages up the queen yet again. Hanging out to this jump to br jump her way, maybe even to the back and ball, oh, force the queen ability. But there is the defending king as well, has another rage to try to keep this queen alive, but he's gonna jump this queen, force a single in the town hall, but no ability. That is going to be rough to get through the town hall here. I don't this know. This right now is really tricky because the problem he has right now is first off, he had to invest his last rage. Oh. And he needs to start from the top side. He needs to make Freeze. the... Oh, no. no! The queen went down. Oh, no. That's the issue is that queen ability could potentially have gotten through that clan castle to the ground expo single target inferno. But now he's, he's going to have to adapt. Here comes the blimp over on the left side. You're wondering, why is the blimp coming from over here? Well, because the healers moved in this area, meaning they tested this whole area of traps. So that is why he sent the blimp from there. Hopefully he can help take it down. He's saving out of the world champion just in case. Has the bull. Oh, a yetis. Oh, well, can they take the town out with no spell? The yetis are trying it. Yes, the town all. No, oh. it does it. So he pops the ability and secures the second star. But now the Royal Champion is running inside that poison. This is a defense yeah. which everyone takes with open hands. Like this right now is an incredible defense. And this is the strength right now of Queen Walkers. And at the same time, they are building in this Legends style. Like those diamond shaped bases are right now really popular in Legends. Those really symmetrical bases. And it's not easy to attack them, especially if you're not used to that. So this is a crazy good defense. I mean, just take a look at that. 67% right yeah. now. And he has not too many buildings left to pick off even more percentages. So this is the first below 70% two star attack I think we have seen so far. I think Maxi was barely over it yesterday. Um, so yeah, this might be so far the best base of the qualifier. Yeah, the 69% right there. Well, we did see a one star, unfortunately, oh, from okay, yesterday. That, that, yep, that one star. But... A 69% is lower than Gaku's 78%, meaning Queen Walkers will have the advantage on percentage. And unfortunately, the Queen Charge Dragon Riders was not able to push its way into the base. And that is a huge defense on Utah's base to help keep Queen Walkers going into potentially the finals from the upper bracket. We still have quite a bit of attack still to go. Yeah, that's right. Like, never say never. There's always a chance of coming back. And always keep your... Like, j just keep your team together. Try to motivate each other. This is a key thing, obviously. And now we have the next attack coming in oh, from oh, Stars. Oh. And he is going in with a ton of invisibility spells. <laughs> and a lot of Dragon Riders. And I'm really looking forward to see what exactly he has in mind. You know, the attack that I miss that I want to see from Stars, maybe we'll see in the future, is when he was doing some blimp with cloning super archers. I remember oh, when yeah. he was doing things like that. <laughs> Stars is such an incredible attacker. He could just completely turn attack strategies on their heads and just base builders struggle so much. But he decides to send the blimp with some invis and looks to be super wizards with six invis. Uh, is he going to use all of them with these super wizards or maybe save a few for his heroes? Yeah, the unique thing for Stars for me is always that he's always finding those those spots to blizzard on. 
and people do not expect that like oh. on this spot like the value is just incredible take a look at that ruining wow. off the clan cast as well taking down one of the arrow heroes the value is just awesome and people do not expect that. People are going for like, yeah, I want to take down Town Hall, five scatter shots and seven eagles. But hey, <laughs> this is not always possible, right? Like you can't always take that out. So he's going for a little bit of a cheaper value, but at the same time, creating so much pathing, the entire right side is taken down. And this as an end here already is looking awesome. But yet again, we always have to take a look at the time. Yeah, Queen is going to look to make her way towards this bottom side. Drops this king to help protect her. The Yak is down on the king. Moving on. We're finding some giant bombs here on the outside. Does wall break? Ooh, that was a little scary. He made his way in to help take down the wall to open up the funneling. The Sneaky Goblin is down. He's got another super wall break and two more in Viz potentially to help get these heroes towards that town hall. Yeah, one more wall break, but I think it's going towards the arch tower first. Let's see how he's going to do that. There is another black mine getting triggered. The queen is stepping inside. She should take down the arch tower first. So this means the wall break should work. But at the same time, the yak, I think, open up the walls. So let's see how that works. Is she getting... Oh. Is she... That is that is a really nice move. He still has a couple of invisibility spells left, which he can now use to protect his queen. And he is now starting with one minute left. Wow. With those Dragon Riders, barely 50% is been taken down. And those Dragon Riders now really need to hurry up. And obviously with those Headhunters, the defending queen should have no oh. chance whatsoever. But there's the Spring Trap. Oh. I think one Headhunter stayed alive at least one. Yeah. And this queen is getting taken down with the Royal Champ pushing him from the top side. But the Eagle on the back end. Yeah, that Eagle is going to be doing so much damage. The World Champion trying to stay alive does have five... Wait, did I just see that right? Five free spells still in to push his <laughs> way through. He's got Air Skellies come out. There's the freeze onto the Air Defense and Eagle Artillery. He already burned that RC ability. Balloon coming on the top side. Freezes it up yet again. Freezes up the Archer Tower. There's so <laughs> many freezes. He's just going to freeze the whole base as he moves through stars. You're absolutely incredible. That is oh, incredible, as you uh, said, and I think he has a point. Like, the eagle is okay if it's on the back end, if you never let it shoot. Like, just yeah. keep freezing it, and you don't care. Like, the eagle could be the last building, as long as you just keep freezing it. Who cares? Wow. And that's exactly what Stars just did. This is why everyone loves Queen Walkers. Those crazy attacks, those crazy plans. This is something which they are always there for, and which is so impressive to watch. And Stars coming in with the freeze spells. He had so many freeze that he was even freeze. It just he freezed every defense left. And like you said, not hey, if the eagle is the last thing left and you just keep it frozen, it's not getting shots off. It's not gonna matter. And a brilliant <laughs> a Blizzard Dragon Rider attack. What a way to get it done for your team of Queen Walkers here. Yeah, that was that was impressive. That was at the same time really important three star for this matchup because Queen Walkers wanted to put pressure back on GA Dress and they now really need to three star on those yet Ooh. again diamond shaved bases with those symmetrical style. And this is what uh, Queen Walkers so far I think was running from the beginning in the pre qualifier and now in the qualifier itself as well. And it's looking really good defensive wise, but can. Bombardor turn things around. That is the big mm. question. It's yet again another hybrid. The first yeah. one. The hybrid looked good. The queen charge was interesting. Yeah, it was indeed. Trying to charge his queen in towards the tunnel. Rages are up. Out comes the CC. And oh, the balloon pulls the sinking air mine. So we're going to help protect these healers. And the super mains are not in the poison just yet. Is he going to be forced to use a free spell? No, able to make his way through, but he's got the freeze up the town hall. She's going to activate it. The healers are going to get hit. There is the freeze to keep his queen charging in. Yeah, the queen is keep charging in. He is taking it down the town hall. The queen should now path around the back of the poison. The hybrid is getting started. And typically, one of the big weaknesses of those diamond shaped bases is hybrid and legend. And especially when people are not preparing for that. My guess would be that yet again, there are spring traps on the outside against those headhunters. And Queen Walkers did not really expect to run into a lot of hybrid attacks on them. Queen, though. The enemy, his queen, that single target infernal lockdown, forced the ability, pops his warden now as the miners and hogs are moving their way through. Remember, the big thing when you're pushing in with a ground attack is it doesn't matter if you do your ward ability, the spring trap still will affect it, but he loses the queen on the top side. And 
Oh my goodness, look at all the traps in the car! <laughs> so many traps right there. The Royal Champion as well is getting taken down or getting at least attacked oh. by that defending king. And now this back end scatter shot might be really scary because this scatter is not easy to reach. There's another bomb tower. And Carbon, I think those Hawks and Miners won't have the greatest day of their life. No, with one Invis left, he does not take down that multi-target Inferno. The Miners are going down and they do remove the bomb tower but the bomb tower's death damage there is going to take them out and it is going to be a defense for stars not only does it come in with an absolutely incredible attack puts up a beautiful defense hey uh, even a 99 percent defense here in the qualifiers is an amazing defense you're looking for anything to stop your opponent and it's only gonna be about 92 percent there for bombador yeah, and I think the most important thing right now is that it's not a three-star because this is putting GH rest behind more and more. If you compare the stats right now um, on the bottom side, Queen Walkers is pulling ahead and making it really hard for GH rest to stay in this match. But at the same time, it's the upper bracket. So whoever is going to lose this, it's not going to be the end of the road for them. They have the, uh, the second chance in just a second like after this match. And... Uh, well, let's see if GHRS need that or if it's going to be the Miracle comeback. But so far, it's looking good for Queen Walkers. We still have two absolutely amazing attackers coming in for Queen Walkers. You take these two players, Klaus and Utah 14, you put them pretty much on any team and they're going to be like the best player. And they're still yet to go, Klaus. You're not going to know what attack strategy he's going to come in with. <laughs> but Utah 14, he's going to probably come with some sort of queen charge. Maybe queen charge Dragon Rider, queen charge Lalo. He loves to do those. But Klaus is probably uh, one of the most favorited fan favorites. And he, okay, nothing too crazy here. Coming in with the drag bat. Yeah, for Klaus, it's actually pretty normal, I would say. Like, <laughs> like pretty relaxed strategy-wise. Um, but still, let's see how he's going to try to pull those of it's going to be a dragon and dragon rider composition with those bats for the back and starting off with a couple of final troops for the top side and probably trying to go into the eagle and pushing his heroes in there yeah looking to help grab this valley drops the king he has him up top with an ice skull to help protect him and his, his first attack yesterday unfortunately was the only fail for queen walkers to think that if plus fails that is a really, really rare sight. Only one if Queen Walk is there. But he's trying to turn that one around and get his first three star here of this qualifiers in day one or two. Trying to push Queen Walkers to the next match. But is he going to get this Eagle Artillery? Yes. Queen Lock's on. And that Clan Castle is pretty far away. The bottom side where the Town Hall is located. Yeah, it's really far on the other side, so this means if there is a Hound in there, it should not be loot. Depending on the Royal Champion on the right side, taking mm. down the air defense as well. Is the Scatter falling as well? That's the big question. It looks like the Scatter is not going to go down. The Queen, though, is taking down oh. another Eggs bow. And the Dragons and yeah. Dragon Riders already started on this top left side. But they're going to go into the Sweeper, which is not the nicest thing to happen. Oh. Yes, still the Blim flying across now. Yeah. But with bats on the back end, you never know. Like, it's they can always make an attack, come back, and still get the three star. Got the blimp flying to the town hall. Is he going to land? Rages it up, freezes the town hall. Yes, the town hall will go down. It looks like the tornado trap is probably on the other side there. Does not lure it out. There's an ice foam distracting the wizards out of the scatter. Oh, the bats take out the scatter. The multi target Inferno, though, is still standing in the middle of the space with one or more freeze and an invisibility spell. Oh, can that all work? The bats are not coming oh, back boy. and they're flying oh. into the core. They're going for oh. that multi front tower. But they we do. have the super minions staying out. There's the invisibility spell. But this is not going oh. to be enough for the, the bats. But the, the single, single yeah, gone. the single is going down, but now it's all about the dragons. Yeah. It's going to be time with 55 seconds left. He's got dragons left. That multi target in front of I don't know how much health it's got, but shouldn't have too much as he takes down these storages. The Dragon Rider working on the ground expo. And oh, it does. Okay. Just about 90% health, but he's got three dragons and they're pretty healthy. One of them might be low, but that yeah. Grand Warden, Klaus, is coming in with a three. Star. Oh, he finds Red oh, Air Bob's a tornado Cover. trap. <laughs> Wait, is that one? No, oh, shoot. Come oh, no. Stop it. <laughs> stop it, Cobra, oh, stop it. What? No. No, I did not 
just oh, I did. I just that was a that was a really good job on you, Cobra. Like really impressive. Um, I have well, never seen something let's, like let's this. Let's not talk about this. Um, can he still get? Oh my goodness! Wow, the trapped up core. Five seconds. Oh no, Cla is he gonna get it? He's looking straight into the camera. No! Oh! He sees you. He, he, he is staring right at you. He's, he's looking at me. He's he's oh. looking straight into my soul. It was all my fault. I am so sorry, Klaus. I just jinxed you into failing. That <laughs> all the traps stopped. That blow. Oh, I don't. I I'm just speechless. Oh my goodness. Yeah, like, I have never seen so many air traps <laughs> at the end of a dragon attack. I feel like all of the traps were already triggered, but somehow uh, you made it that there were like two yep. air skeletons appearing, like four red bombs, two you black. Know, like that was that was impressive. That was really impressive. I, I take pride in my jinxing skills, okay? <laughs> you know, at least I have a hundred overall skill set in something in this game, you know? Coming away with OP jinx, you know, hey, I'll take it. But we'll see if GHRS can take advantage of that opportunity. They're only down by one star, but not only are they down by a star, but they're down by quite a bit of percentage as well. It's yeah, that's right. It's not going to be easy to come back from this. They need a really good another defense. And this one has to be a three stone. They're going in with the Pekka smash on a base like this, which is typically a good thing. But the queen going inside over there is not a good thing at all because there is a ton of expos and even the warden shooting at that queen. She won't have the greatest life, I feel like, in there. Like, this is going to be a lot of damage. Even the king, he needs to use the headhunter. But the queen Ooh, ability is getting burned and... This I mean, right now is looking scary. I, I'm actually, we're witnessing an extinct troop here, which I haven't seen in forever. The bowlers, they're back. What is going on? He's got seven of them. I'm saying that because I'm like, I haven't seen bowlers in forever, but oh no, bowlers, where are you going? Why are you supposed to go into the core to follow with the potential warden ability in the middle? Oh boy. They're already starting with the cleanup. This is like a, the smallest version of the bowler trying to start things off. They want to take down, they switch the place with the king. King is inside, bowler's on the outside, taking down the skitter shot. This is all planned. And now the Royal Champ from the top side, as long as the tunnel is going down, this is looking good, but the tunnel needs to go down. And there are so many traps, so much firepower on the back end. The Royal Champ at the top there is still cleaning things up. The Yak is getting that tunnel down wow. with the support of the king and the Pekka. And yeah. this is looking really good look at this with the royal champion ability still in the bag the healers have transferred off to helping take down the peck oh wait the peck just barely survives the valkyries actually we're coming out of the log launcher burns the rc ability takes down some of the tassels and this is going to be a three star for gh rest what a wonderful attack that was really really crushing like a really good attack overall even though things went wrong for him he kept his um, head cool and made it work like with that queen stepping inside it's not easy to save this attack like he lost the queen ability early but still someone made it work and now they have to hope for a defense they have to hope for a defense to stay inside this match they did everything they could with this last attack to have the chance of staying in, in this match and now it's up to you and you said it utah like those like they're really really good they're really really good and especially with this queen charge he is one of the best in the world yes utah is an absolutely incredible clasher and he's gonna be coming in we're gonna see sometimes you, utah is always known to be the last attacker for queen walkers and there's been some times that he's got a lower percentage but we're gonna see if utah can do it he did come away with the triple in his previous attack yesterday but he's doing a queen charge dragon rider and looking to charge from the opposite side of the town hall all the way at to the top side of the base can charge her way in towards the multi-target inferno but can he keep this queen alive and take a look at where the clan castle it's in the middle of the base where there is a single target inferno on this charge yeah it's not going to be easy but he's going to try to charge this queen all the way into the town direction and let's see if that's going to work. I mean, so far the coconut loons are doing a great job like scouting for those healers if there are any black mines. So far has not found anything. Defending Royal Champion should be taken down by his queen then. And there's going to be, as soon as the gold storage is going down, the connection war break onto the wizard tower. That's exactly what's about to happen. And we still have 
those back and dragon rise from the left side with the stammer i feel like the stammer right, right now is just empowering those dragon rise so much so really enjoying seeing those and like seeing just like the stammer to boost them up a little bit Clan Castle, yet again another split Clan Castle, which means there are a ton of more archers in there most likely, which is not going to be an easy task to deal with. Yeah, the archers are Ooh. getting ruled out. Oh, the Tornado Trap, that is brilliant there. Yeah, so the Queen won't get turned up, but he does wall break, potentially for the King to go. Wait a second, has it deployed the King? Will the Queen continue her charge towards this town? Oh, but that single target Inferno is going to be quite annoying for this Queen that I was talking about just earlier. Oh no. That freeze. Wow. Brilliant. Beautiful really, really good freeze. freeze. Yes. With the, oh, the single though. Watch out. The king is going for the multi target Inferno with it too. Can he get the town hall down though? Yeah, he needs to get the town hall. Yes, the queen ability left. So the town hall should go down at some point. The dragon riders are in as well. Really catching the first black mines onto his dragon riders. The king on the left side is trying to get down this compartment. The queen is now staying out of the range off the single inferno tower this is now looking really good the slammer is getting sent for the back end Ooh. which is a surprising move with the royal champion in between and he's kind of trying to circle the base like trying to somehow attack it from every single possible angle there is the warden ability to protect the last remaining dragon riders yep. but the single inferno tower Ooh. is staying up yeah that single inferno tower being left for the last defense almost but the queen is looping around that single to stay alive the world champion is barely alive these air scale he's doing a little bit of work to the dragon rider has a handful of loots and this is looking like a three star it's all about time now for utah yeah it's 18 seconds left and he needs to somehow oh. push his troops through the royal champion and the queen are on those skeleton Come traps on. now something is going to the core oh. the minion the yes. dragon he is they already he's already knowing it Yes. This is going to be a three-star. Utah knows it. Celebrating already. And this was an awesome attack to make sure Queen Walkers is getting it.